Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will model a panther or leopard in clay. For this we will use this beautiful model that the British company 3D Total sent me so kindly. On one side you can see the finished skin of the cat, while in the other one you can see the anatomical features, all the muscles. It came with, also with these cards that shows precisely all the muscles. I will link the product in the description of the video in case you are interested. And I hope you enjoy it. The list of materials is also in the description below the video. Previously, I made a skeleton or a structure to be able to build the figure in clay. I did this based on the model. I sort of traced the model and I nailed it to a board, a support to be able to work on. Now let's make the base. By the way, the feet start not from the board, but a little bit higher. In other words, we take into account the thickness of the base. So now the feet begin from the top of this clay. Very good. And with the side of the tool that has teeth, we give it some texture. Like so, with strokes in different directions. All right, and now it's time to begin building the beast. There are many ways in which you can do this. Today, I will be adding little pieces of clay to build the volumes and the shapes. Let's build the powerful torso. You can either use the tool for this or you can choose to add the clay with your fingers. It takes some time, but it is really pleasurable and relaxing. We do the whole body like this, and of course the head, which in the case of the leopard, it's pretty squarish. Let's add the snout, and a little bit more mass over here, actually the whole thing a little bit bigger. That's better. And now that we have more or less the volume, let's refine with the tool both giving it a better shape and also we can smooth out the bumps. <laughs> I see that this leg should be a little bit thicker. Now let's look at both my sculpture and the model from the top and make those shapes a little better. When you are making a sculpture you have to be looking at it continuously from every angle. Sometimes you look at it from somewhere else and you realize you were very wrong. Now let's refine the head. The snout is pretty square and much smaller than the volume of the head itself. I don't know if you know this, but it's interesting that the black panthers are actually not a different species, but a mutation of the leopard. It is a similar thing in a way, but opposite to albinism. In albinism, of course, there is a lack of pigment. While black panthers are usually leopards or jaguars with an excess of black pigment. And I'm modeling some of the muscles. Other cats can be black too, but this mutation is most common in leopards and jaguars. Jaguars, as you probably know, are very similar to the leopards in color and marks, but they are a little bit shorter and bulkier. But the main difference is that they are located in different places. The leopards are mainly in Africa and Asia, while jaguars are exclusively in the Americas. I'll start building some of the detail of the head, but first let's make sure it has the correct shape. We need to add some more clay over here. By the way, the mutation of the black panthers I was talking about seems to be a positive one. I say this because it is more common in tight jungles, which have less light and are darker and therefore being black is an advantage. Also leopards tend to hunt at night, so the darkness can very much be an advantage. They are very strong, 
If they catch a small prey, they usually eat it on the spot. But if they hunt a big one, they bring it up a tree to protect it. Even though sometimes these preys are heavier than themselves. Let's model the ears and give some detail to the head and snout. And then we build the shape of the powerful paws and of the wrist. I think we should add some more clay here. They have five toes in the front feet and four on the hind ones. All right, to make it appear more realistic and more alive, we should add some of the ribs and some of the muscles, but gently and softly. Very good, excelente, it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos, and I will see you on Tuesday.